नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू प्राइम टाइम न्यूज हेर इज अ लुक एट टूडे टॉप स्टोरीज Former CM Pawan Chamling blames center's ignorance resulting in questions being raised on existence of Gorkhas time and again. Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang attends all party meeting on G20 summit chaired by PM Modi. Agriculture Minister inaugurates Rural Production Marketing Center at Rungdu. And Rewash Gurung Fan Club appeals music lovers in Sikkim to vote of Sikkimese singing talent contesting in Voice of Nepal. Now the news in detail with me Dishan Ongu Bhutia. The governor of Sikkim Ganga Prasad has extended his warm greetings to the people of Sikkim and the Bhujil community in particular on the auspicious occasion of Pugal Parim. The festival is celebrated by the Bhujil community for 5 days from Mangsir Purnima to Panchnami along river banks. The festival is marked with worshiping and paying homage to mother nature and thanking the ancestors for good harvest by offering pujas to the five elements of nature. On this occasion let us all pray for the well-being of all sentient beings and may our festivals remind us to be thankful towards mother nature the governor has said in his message Sikkim in present day has only a government there is no good governance claimed Pawan Chamling former chief minister of Sikkim and president of SDF party addressing a press conference in Siliguri today alleging the governor of Sikkim Ganga Prasad of misusing special constitutional power assured upon him by the clause G of article 371F by appointing PS Tamang a convict in corruption charges as chief minister of Sikkim Chamling demanded amendment in clause G of article 371F thus reducing the effectiveness of the power in order to prevent further misuse recalling the contributions made by the Nepali speaking Gorkha community nationally since the time of Indian freedom struggle he said the Indian government has ignore the sacrifices and contributions of the gorkhas due to which questions about the existence of gorkhas are being raised time and again this continuation of transmission of news in nepali language from all india radio new delhi is nothing but an attempt to suppress the voice of gorkhas it should be resumed said chamling and demanded that central public service commission or upsc examination should also be conducted in nepali language as the president further said that the gorkha community should be given obc rights in all states and the mps from the gorkha community should also be inducted in the central cabinet stating that the current bjp government is not at all serious about According tribal status to the 12 left out sub communities of the Gorkha community former chief minister Pawan Chamling claimed that if the central government wishes the issue of tribal status would be resolved within a month the very ex- existence of the Gorkhas has been subjected to frequent questioning due to negligence of the central government said Chamling talking about the Sikkim Darjeeling merger issue the SDF president said that he was always against the decision Thwarting the move of Sikkim Darjeeling merger is also one of the objectives behind launching Sikkim Bachao Mato Bachao Abhiyan of SDF party said Chamling Chief Minister of Sikkim Prem Singh Tamang attended the all party meeting presided over by the Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi at Rashtrapati Bhavan the other day The meeting was convened to strategize the 2023 G20 summit It is a matter of great pride and privilege for India to host the G20 presidency which officially began from 1st December 2022. Around 200 meetings on 32 sectors will be organized at multiple locations across the country and as per the guidelines of the PM we will collectively and dedicatedly work to make the G20 program a grand success Chief Minister posted on his official page. Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang who is currently in New Delhi met the executive members of Sikkim Students Association Delhi today. He extended financial assistance of rupees 10 lakh from Chief Minister's discretionary grant to the association. The Chief Minister extended best wishes for the studies and hoped that the association will equally guide and render support to other Sikkim students pursuing higher education in New Delhi and CR. 
The governor of Sikkim, Gangar Prasad, called on the Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh at his office, New Delhi, on Monday. It was a courtesy call by the governor. In a brief meeting, the governor discussed various developmental schemes, projects and security-related issues of Sikkim within the Union Defence Minister. The minister come area MLA of Galsing Burma constituency Loknath Sharma officially inaugurated the newly constructed rural production marketing center under rural development department at Rungdu under Bomek Bairthang Gram Panchayat unit today. He was accompanied by the block development officer Hemartam B.A.C. Kailash Gurung, Panchat President Bomek Bairthang GPU Ganesh Nepal, Panchat members, officials and the local people. Minister Sharma, in his brief address, underlined the objectives of establishing RPMC and stated that the newly constructed infrastructure will be of great use for the rural population of the locality for marketing purposes. He also touched upon the vision of the Chief Minister for Holistic Development and uplifting rural economy by providing them opportunities in all sectors. The members of Rivash Fan Club have appealed to the music lovers of Sikkim to come forward and cast maximum votes in favour of Sikkimese singing talent Rivash Gurung of Dodak Soring, who has reached the top 10 of Voice of Nepal Season 4. Addressing a press conference here in the capital today, the members of Rivash Fan Club said, Rivash through his singing talent has not only made Sikkim proud, but the entire country. He has reached the top 10 voting round due to his sheer talent. Now it is up to us to cast maximum votes and ensure his win in the singing reality show, they said. One can vote for Rivash by downloading Khalti app. However, owing to some technical glitch, those wishing to vote can do so through Google Pay or phone pay number 7407178221. It is informed. The fan club is also planning to set up a stall here at MG Mark Gangtok for raising funds to vote for Rivash Guru. The press conference was addressed by Remanti Rai, founder of Remanti Music Academy, Kumal Gurung, founder of Tapashri Dance Academy, renowned folk musician Naren Gurung, President Omas Karma Jigmi Bhutia, President of Gurung Association PM Gurung, President of Rivash Fan Club Janak Gurung, DIG Special Branch Praveen Gurung, Prabha Gurung and Anita Gurung, Guardians of Rivash Gurung. The final meeting come inspection of Namprikdam premises for the upcoming Namprikdam Namsung festival was conducted by Area MLA come advisor Energy and Power Department Pinso Namgal Lepcha today. Also present were district officials led by DC Mangan, Dr. A.B. Karki and members of Namprikdam Namsung festival celebration. During the inspection, the mapping of the premises and matters regarding the provision of water, electricity, laboratory and so were discussed on analyzed. The area MLA briefed everyone on the historical significance of the celebration and urged all the HODs to cooperate and work collectively to make the event a grand success. He also expressed his hope that the celebration in turn paves way for various avenues of development for the district. We are heading into a quick commercial break. Keep watching Sikkim Television Network. From the moment we are born till the time we pass on, each of us are given an infinite number of choices. Choices to become something, an inspiration, a creator, a muse, a guide. The journey might be filled with trials and tribulations, but we should never back down. For each of us have a role to play, and how we play the role determines our worth. So choose who you want to be, and follow where the path leads. She chose a role too. She chose to box. And neither paralysis, nor the lack of recognition for the sport, or even the fear of a relapse, would daunt her from her path. The success that you see today was not earned in a day. Her struggles are hidden away from your view. Hundreds of tiny moments of struggle and sweat have paved her path. With each loss, she chose to fight back. With each win, she sought to improve. And today, she is the force behind champions. My life has been one roller coaster ride 
Sometimes it has been a blast, other times not so much. But what has remained constant is my attitude. Never give up. Take the shot. You can always do better. You can always swing harder. You might falter and fail sometimes. But what matters is that you never give up. Whether it is in your daily life, the boxing ring, or in your decision to vote. Not voting is giving up your voice. Speak up. Choose to vote. Smile Dental Solution Sikkim Ganto Ko Tadung Stit Durga Mandir Chowma Bharkar Ekhwaliye Ko Sai Smile Dental Solution Anubhavi Dr. Stavan Kumar Sarma Orthodontist Dwara Sansali Thiyas Dental Clinic Ma Advanced Orthodontic Ra Implant Pani Karin Cha ARB द्वारा मान्यता प्राप्त पोर्टेबल एक्सरे का साथ में अन्य अत्याधुनिक सुविधा हरू पनी यहाँ उपलब्ध था। धेरे प्रकार का ब्रिसेस हरू लगाऊं ना सकी नहीं एकमात्र क्लिनिक जहाँ दांत संबंधी कुने पनी समस्या हरू भाई अवश्य समझने हवस। स्माइल डेंटल सॉल्यूशन जहाँ ऑनलाइन बात अपनी अपॉइंटमेंट लेना Without operation, bina side effect, bimari ko bachar garna aun hoos. Sai pratisad guarantee ko saath ma naya paddati dwara ayurvedic upachar. Paz, fistula, hydrocyl, fissure, jasta bimari jach aun hoos. Doctors fee matra duisai rupia. Without operation, bina side effects, bimari jach aun hoos. Yes ka framuk, RK, Tikadhar, BIAMS, Thegana, West Bengal, Rangpo Bazar, near West Bengal, check post, District Darjeeling Namaste Building Phone Number 8343-800-111 Welcome back. The National Conference on Nalanda Buddhism Retracing the Source in the Footsteps of Acharyas from Nalanda to Himalayas and Beyond was organized by the Indian Himalayan Council of Nalanda Buddhist Traditions in collaboration with the Ecclesiastical Department, Government of Sikkim here at Chintan Bhavan in Gangtok on Monday. The chief guest of the inaugural session, Speaker SLA Arun Kumar Upreti said that the National Conference on Nalanda Buddhism retracing the source in the footsteps of Acharyas from Nalanda to Himalayas and beyond will play a key role in retelling Buddhism's expansive story and in tracing its source to reflect on the foundations. He expressed hope that the conference will have a positive impact on the present and future generations to understand the wise words of the Buddha and further assimilate our societies in the trans Himalayan region. Minister for Ecclesiastical Department Sonam Lama in his address extended gratitude to the Sangha community for their active and collective efforts in preserving and promoting the teachings of Lord Buddha passed down from generations to generation. He further assured full support of the state government for the holistic development of the Sangha community. In his keynote address, Vice President IHC NBT Delhi Ken Rempoche Jangshup Choden extended deep gratitude to the IHC NBT and the Ecclesiastical Department Government of Sikkim for taking initiatives to address the crucial issues of preservation, promotion and propagation of the precious Nalanda traditions, keeping in view the lurking danger of extinction and loss of great repository of precious human wisdom accumulated over the past thousands of years. He further urged the various Himalayan cultural and religious organizations from the Pan-Himalayan region to radiate and resonate similar spirit and enthusiasm to revive the ancient Nalanda traditions of Buddhism. The conference also featured in-depth sessions on Nalanda Buddhism in the footsteps of 17 Panditas of Nalanda and Nalanda Buddhism in the footsteps of Guru Padmasava in the Himalayas, conducted by scholars and guests. An introductory com induction program of the newly elected Zilla Panchat members of Namchi district was held at the conference hall of Namchi Zilla Panchat Bhavan on Monday. The program was chaired by Zilla Adaksha Namchi Anjitar Rai in the presence of Upa Adaksha Namchi Bik Bikash Tamang, DC Namchi M. Bharani Kumar, DPO Zilla Karzang Dila Sopa, along with Zilla Panchat members, officials and the staff of the Namchi District Zilla Panchat office. Addressing the gathering, Zilla Adaksha Anjita Rai congratulated the members of Zilla Panchayats for the victory in the non-partisan Panchayat elections 2022 conducted by Sikkim State Election Commission. 
She said that the role of elected representatives of local bodies is imperative in achieving holistic development at the grassroots level. Upadaksha Bikash Tamang in his address emphasized the need for fair budgeting and planning for the successful outcome of the schemes under Zilla Panchayat. DC Namchi M. Bharani Kumar spoke on the importance of the Panchayati Raj system and the concerned list of subjects under the 11th schedule of the Constitution of India, which focuses on self-governance in the rural area. Moreover, he encouraged the elected members to utilize their experiences for the welfare measures and development of rural areas. DC Gals in Ishida Yongda carried out an inspection to Uttari and Sopaka villages on Monday. The inspection included visits to Uttari Senior Secondary School, Government Primary School, Konabar, Anganwari Center, Konabar, Gram Prashashan Kendra Uttari, Gram Prashashan Kendra Sopaka. A brief meeting was held at Sopaka Samaj Bhavan to interact with Zilla Panchayats, Gram Panchayats, NGOs, SHG Federation, members of Samaj and public. Addressing the House, the DC appreciated the endeavour of the village populace towards women empowerment. In addition, she stressed on the concern of waste management, namely ban on single-use plastic and urgent need to begin source segregation. She also lauded that Sopaka has been able to maintain alcohol-free status. During the course of the meeting, Sopaka Samaj Kalyan Samiti also presented the letter of appreciation to Dentam and Uttari police for their tireless efforts in maintaining the alcohol-free status. Later in the evening, the team visited Kumuk Sepi, the farthest habitation, where an interactive session with the public of the village was held. Youth Festival 2022 as part of systematic voters' education and electoral participation for voters' awareness and inclusion of newly eligible voters of Galsin District was organized at various educational institutions on Monday. The festival was organized by the District Election Authority as per the direction of the District Collector come District Electoral Officer Rishi D. Yongda. The DC during the course of festival at Uttar Senior Secondary School deliberated on SV double EP and sensitized the eligible students over the significance of right to vote provided by the Constitution of India. The main motive behind observing the festival is to encourage young eligible student voters to exercise their fundamental rights to vote and also to provide ease in the procedure of procuring epic cards through the elimination of the hassle of preliminary steps. There were a total of nine designated venues for the first day of two days long festival. Similarly, the youth festival under the banner Systematic Voters Education and Electoral Participation was organized by BAC Regu at the BAC Playground to foster voter education and to make the public aware of the rights and responsibilities which are the first and most basic tenets of democracy. The program was attended by BDO Kam ARO Regu BAC along with officials, GPU functionaries and local public. Savan Raj Dhakal BDO in his address highlighted the subject and the objectives of SVEP. Various issues like gender-based violence and human trafficking were discussed at length as well. BLOs of various booths passed information on other seeding and the importance of voting in a democratic country. Culture program, painting competition, essay competition and badminton tournaments were also organized as part of the festival. It's time for yet another break. Do stay tuned. It is a widely accepted fact that children are the future of our nation. Therefore, training them to take up the mantle at the right time should be an essential part of their learning process. This could range anywhere from nurturing their skills to training them in their various duties and responsibilities as a citizen of the country. One such responsibility is their active participation in the most important democratic process called elections. The health of any democracy is determined by the extent of participation of its citizens in the election process. To encourage this participation among the future citizens of our country, the Election Commission of India has rightly started the Electoral Literacy Clubs in all secondary and senior secondary schools and colleges of the country. In order to promote the objective of the Election Commission of India and to give school-going young adults the opportunity to experience what an election and voting process entails, 
the office of the Chief Electoral Officer of Sikkim as a part of sweep activities has conducted mock elections across 174 electoral literacy clubs established in secondary and senior secondary schools and colleges of the state. The mock elections were conducted for electing student council and best student of the year. This gave a real-time experience of the election process to the students. Being involved in the democratic process is essential for nation building and these mock elections are an important tool to achieve that as they connect theory with reality. It is a method of active teaching that engages students' minds better. During the mock elections, the ELCs were encouraged to follow the important electoral procedures such as election campaign, nomination of candidates, scrutiny of documents, withdrawal of nominations, casting of votes, counting, oath-taking ceremony, etc. The importance of registering themselves as voters as soon as they attained the age of 18 to exercise their voting rights was also imparted as part of these mock elections. From today I got to know like how to conduct voting. Due to today's uh, demonstration, we learned many things regarding this uh, voting. We learned that there are many uh, criteria to be followed in this voting system. I have a lot of experience in the election. I have participated in the election. Research across the world suggests that involvement of students from an early age in such activities creates lifelong positive impressions in their minds. Therefore, it is strongly believed that these mock elections among the students could play an important role in ensuring a healthy democracy through active participation of its citizens in the election process. Welcome back. The ICR National Research Center for Orchids Pakyong celebrated World Soil Day 2022. World Soil Day was conceived at the 60th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York on 20th December 2013. Since then, it has been celebrated annually on 5th December. Its aim is to promote greater environmental awareness in order to make the best use of the Earth's resources without damaging them. This year's theme for World Soil Day was Soils where food begins. The aim was to raise awareness of the importance of maintaining healthy ecosystems and human well-being by addressing the growing challenges in soil management, raising awareness about soil and encouraging societies to improve soil health. Dr. S.S. Biswas, scientist soil science, citing the data from the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization with said 95% of our food comes from soils while 33% of soils are degraded. He stressed that agriculture production needs to increase by 60% to meet global food demand in 2050 and that soil is the basis for food, fuel, fuel and fiber production as well as ecosystem services and human well-being. He urged farmers to do everything possible to manage the soil sustainably without losing its fertility. On the occasion, vegetable seeds were distributed to the farmers of Chalam Thang. World Soil Day was celebrated at Krishi Vigyan Kendra Namthang on Monday. The program was chaired by senior scientist and head IP Shiva Koti, was attended by farmers from in and around Namthang block. KVK head made a presentation on the aims and objectives of the program, while ADO Soil Testing Lab in charge Yograj Pradhan made a pres presentation on soil. The technical session was followed by a quiz competition among the attendees. The winners were presented with prizes. Likewise, soil health card was also distributed to a few farmers of Namthang block. The beneficiaries were also taken around soil testing lab along with demonstration on soil sample collection at KVK farm guided by Gopal Rai, FA Soil. An awareness program on livestock production and management was organized at Rinchenpung by the Department of Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services, Soaring District on Monday. The program was attended by Panchayat Vice President Upper Tadung Ward Rupal Rai and Panchayat Member Upper Rinchenpung Ward Sonam Diki Lepcha, Departmental Officers, Staffs and Dairy Farmers. The farmers were briefed about dairy farming, infertility related problems, cattle insurance scheme and Kishan Credit Card AH by Dr. Kunzang Palmabhutia, Deputy Director Mangal Subdivision.
Oat seeds of 5 kg each were also distributed to dairy farmers after briefing them about it. You may inbox your news, photographs and footages at news.sikkimtv at the gmail.com. Well, this brings us to the end of this newscast. We'll be back with more news and updates. Till then, goodbye and stay safe.